What is up everyone, welcome back for another week's video. This week we're talking about catching waves on the fly. What does that mean? Uh, it's when you're going downstream and you turn around and you surf a wave. So it should be as easy as that, turn around, catch the wave, but there's a few things that can help you improve the chances of catching those waves and make it a bit easier for you. So the first thing I think about when I'm catching waves on the fly is to remember that I'm traveling downstream, which means I have downstream momentum. And in order to surf that wave that's coming up, I need to slow myself down as best I can by reducing my downstream momentum and that's gonna make it easier for me to catch that wave because I'm gonna be at a more similar speed to the water that's traveling upstream in the, in the wave like foam pile. So how do I do that? Uh, planning ahead, I'm looking at the, uh, that wave that I'm coming into. I'm trying to find the best spot for myself to, to land in and then slowing myself down by turning upstream and paddling hard to start reducing my speed. The big problem with this is that now you're facing upstream and slowing down, but it makes it very difficult to see where you're gonna land up on the wave. So you need to be thinking about looking over your shoulder every few strokes to make sure that you're not paddling on an angle and paddling away from where you want to be landing. And that spot you've picked on the wave is still the spot you're gonna be landing at. Usually I'm shooting for the spot which is just the mix between the tallest part of the wave which still has a foam pile. That foam pile makes it uh, like a really good, I think of it like a bumper or a cushion that's gonna slow me down and help that final um, kind of speed transition from my downstream speed to having upstream speed as I'm surfing. So I'm gonna be trying to use that foam to slow me down more. And I wanna catch in a position where I'm still at the highest point of the wave, but I'm kind of compromising a little bit and getting the high point, but also the most foam. So as I'm slowing myself down, I'm trying to think about hitting that, that point we just discussed. And the thing that I think a lot of people mess up here is they try and hit it pointing straight upstream. Now, if you imagine your kayak, the narrowest part is the stern and the bow. The widest part is the left side and the right side. I want to slow myself down to catch the wave. So what I really need to do is slightly turn my boat so that more of my boat is hitting into that foam and more of my boat is getting slowed down. If you imagine that foam like a bumper that's gonna be slowing you down, the more bumper that's hitting your boat, the more quickly you're gonna be able to slow down. The less bumper that hits your boat, the more chance you're gonna have of being going too fast and just continuing downstream through the wave. So by just turning a little bit to one side, that's gonna help me as I hit that bumper and slow down and then ride back upstream on the wave surfing. One of the final things I think about as that bumper's hitting me and I'm coming back down the wave is making my last forward stroke something more of a sweep stroke so that I can well, like catch on the wave more sideways and then use that final sweep stroke to push myself and straighten out back into a controlled front surf. I can also use this to push myself into the, the wave which is the biggest or the steepest part or which is gonna give me the best uh, possibility to stay on the wave. And if you look at this clip here, you can see that I use a uh, like a right sweep stroke to push myself back into the center of the wave, into the biggest part, and stay on the wave and maintain a surf. The amount you have to slow your boat down is gonna vary um, situation to situation. You might be going very fast and the wave's also moving very fast, so you don't have to slow down that much. You might be in a, a different situation where the wave's small and you have to slow down a lot. But one of the main things that I think people kind of Aren't, don't have a good handle on is they stop trying to paddle upstream too early. I'm still putting in that work to slow myself down almost until I'm off the wave. I'm still trying to get back upstream, back upstream, back upstream and really working hard at maximal effort right up until the point where I feel my boat suck back down onto the wave. Too many people stop paddling too early or they give up when they stop paddling when they think they're on the wave. Don't stop paddling until you feel the wave push your boat back upstream. That's one of the main points I see that people kind of mess up on is they just they just come off the gas a little bit too much. And if you watch um, the clip you're seeing right now, you should see that I'm still going, 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 going right up until the point where I'm suddenly going back forwards, right? And that's the point where I feel 
my boat pushing forwards. So these are just a couple things to think about and I might make another video on this topic because the more I think about it now, the more I'm like, oh, there might be more to it than, um, than I've alluded to in this video. But try those tips out, let me know if they work for you and hit me in the comments below if they did or if something helped or if something clicked for you uh, or if not and what I missed. And I will see you in a future video. Peace.